Hello guys, so uh, today we've got the SV650 2008. We're gonna be installing the Ulek Racing uh, kit. Um, so, here's how to do it. I'm gonna try. This is my first time doing it. So, I've got no idea. This is my first time, as I said. So, we gotta reach down to the ECU and we gotta plug this wire. So, we're gonna put these aside for now. Right. And we gotta reach out this. Okay, remove the battery tray. Okay, now we gotta get to the ECU. Okay, so according to Wulek Racing, in the ECU, we gotta take out this part. Okay, so we're gonna let me be, just make sure. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna pause the video now and I'm gonna check it out again. So, we gotta take out that big connector out. I think, yeah. There we go. And after we take the connector out, we gotta insert our cable here. Let me show you again. Here, we gotta install it here. See? Yeah. So in order to take that out, they said that there is a... In order to take it out, we gotta push these tabs inside and just import that inside. Yeah, that's the neighbor. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Okay, so I took it out like this. I'm gonna put it aside like this. So now, we gotta push out that tab. Just make sure you do not um, pull any of the cables. So, we gotta take that out. In order to take it out, I think, we sh sh well, I think this is this was the pin, right? Or this one? I do, I, I'm not, I cannot remember. So we gotta take out that pin by inserting a, the, this kind of thing, just pushing it from the inside, outside, and there we can see it over here. So we get a flyer. We, we just pull it outside. There we go. And now we take the Woolick Racing connector, and there's a, a one-way that we should insert the connector. So you hold up the ECU plug like this, we get the harness, make sure that this part is the outside, and we just shove it inside. And we are supposed to hear a click. Here, see? Okay, that's it, it's inside. After we get in the, the connector we need to um, reinsert yeah all right reinsert the plug you see if you put it in the wrong way it does not go in there's only one way in and you press it in then we plug our ECU back and we Put it inside again. Yep. We leave our connector. I want to take it from here. So we we yeah like this. That's it. After that, we should be able to um, we, you gotta find this connector which is the I think it's the OBD we're gonna press take it out it's, uh, you save that for later for the for making waterproof and I think the connector goes in like this 
Yep. And then we connect our ECU plug like this. And we connect our wheel racing cap. Okay. So now we're supposed to ignition start. Just give you a ignition. Nice power. So I just want to connect it to my PC and try to read the ECU, check if it's if I have So guys, this is the next day. Now we're gonna flash the SV650 2018. Um, it took me a couple of days just to figure out the, which software I want to upload. So here we got the 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 SV turned on ignition and the kill switch is uh, in the right position. You connect the whole like racing kit. We're also connected to the computer. Okay, we wait till the M3 should appear. Can you zoom in? Okay, so now I'm gonna do um, map share and download map share. Let me check. We wanna upload the full version, the full power. Now set up the massage. Okay, so open. I've already downloaded my map share, so it's the SV650 2018 that one. That's the all right. So first of all, I'm gonna do um um let's hit right. I think that's it. Hopefully everything goes well. Fingers crossed. Um, I can see you. Um, what is this? Windows update have been downloaded, installed, and completely rebooted. Laptop battery is fully charged. I right. he's telling me just to make sure. I'm gonna go into battery save mode. Bike is in neutral. Kill switch is in the north position. Ignition 12 volt supply is on. I right. okay. Okay. I know updates. Laptop power supply plug in. Motorcycle battery is connected and charged. Switch to open mode. I've read. I right. okay. Start ECU read. Okay guys, so it's gonna make uh, some noises, okay, here, let me show you the, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's the lower, I can't see something special, riding is you guys, I'm riding is you now, it's loading, oh my god, so excited, don't touch the bike. <laughs> <laughs> now we're releasing all the horsepower. Writing ECU, writing ECU. I'm not gonna touch anything. We have no error co error codes so far. Yeah, we're 45 percent. Okay, let's see how, how much time it's gonna take. Here is the ECU. I've also saved a copy to return to my OEM stock maps. Yep, everything is fine. 58, 50, 53, 54. Okay, I guess it's gonna take uh, two minutes. Like that, because we're already one minute. Writing is completed. Successfully, please turn. Ignition off to reset ECU. Okay. Okay, so. Ignition off. Okay. Ignition on. Okay. I'm gonna turn the bike. Damn, it sounds louder. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely louder. Yeah, it's burning also oil. Neutral. Alright, okay. Go to diagnostics. I can definitely smell the the oil cha the the mixture and fuel changed. All right, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, everything is cool. Let's go to data viewer. Let's see the engine data. So far, no errors. The AB 
GPS error will go on as soon as we ride. Damn, the bike is so loud. Wait, wait, engine data. Yeah. Turn it on again.